So there are, you know, various categories of the neural networks that we can think of. The first example where we had like, you know, the four feature and it was only connected to one computational unit and thus the output prediction, right? That is known as one neuron architecture. Okay. And if you have done, you know, something like logistic regression, then this might fall into one neuron architecture. So what is what we are using here in this is essentially a single neuron, which is the computational unit, which is doing the input to output move. The second category of neural networks are something that we covered, you know, uh, in the last slide, where between the output layer or output neuron, there is a set of neurons present in what is known as the hidden layer. And the reason this is known as hidden layer is this is something that is in between the input to output. So this is input and this is the output. This hidden layer does not see the data level of the input and output. It basically takes something and outputs and that's why it's known as hidden layer. But in case you have one single hidden layer, right? Then this network is essentially known as shallow neutral. So this one will be known as shallow neural networks. And what is the defining feature of shallow neural network? It will have essentially a single hidden layer in it. So this class of uh, you know models where only one hidden layer is there in the overall neural network, that is known as you know, shallow neural network. So those are the basic you know ones that has been used widely uh, you know since 90s and then early 2002. And these two class single neuron or single uh, shallow neural networks were very, very prominent. But what has changed recently, uh, you know, in the last 10, 15 years is now we have ability to go what is known as, you know, into this deep neural network. So let's understand what these deep neural networks are. So instead of having a single neural network, single hidden layer, you essentially can have multiple hidden layers in the neural network. So if the number of hidden layers are greater than two, you essentially have what is known as deep neural network. And deep, shallow and depth is basically the depth, how many hidden layers you have. If you have only one hidden layer, you are shallow neural networks. If you have more than two, then you have, you know, um, deep neural network. So what are the things that changes and why, you know, we want to move and why we want to, you know, do deep neural networks. So one of the things that happens that as you increase the number of hidden layers, the overall parameters or the optimization that you need to, you know, tune in order to get good input to output mapping functionality increases tremendously as more neurons are introduced or more number of hidden layers are introduced. And that was something that was not possible to train based on the computational pipeline. There were not techniques developed. There were issues with the hardware and stuff like that. And that's why a lot of work has only focused on single neuron or one, one layer or shallow neural network. But with the advent of high computing and also advent of new, you know, algorithms, uh, in you know you know just 2008 or surrounding like that, we now have ability to process the computational pipeline and have computational pipelines that allows us to train this multiple hidden layer units, and that gives us higher accuracy. And the accuracy has been found to be dramatically different and higher than what you can do for shallow neural network. Now, you know you might have learned you know other machine learning algorithms bef you know before. And typically, some of those classical machine learning algorithms were performing better than shallow neural networks. And that is why even though the neural network field exists for more than 30 years now, you know, it was not getting that prominent. But with the advent of this idea that we can have multiple hidden layers and we can train, uh, you know, these deep neural networks, uh, really brought neural network again into the prominence and this class of models really good gives you performance. If you have a large scale data set, it gives you really good performance compared to any classical machine learning algorithms might have. And this sort of, you know, 
is a basic technique that has actually revolutionized the use of machine learning not only in the business cases but you know uh, it is you know sort of responsible for all the popularity the machine learning is getting uh, nowadays okay so again summarizing what i want to mention here that when we have number of hidden layers greater than 2 then that neural network will be known as deep neural network and people have trained uh, you know uh, um, neural networks that are up to thousands of hidden layers right and so they have really large scale uh, number of parameters for their problem but you know uh, people uh, as i said greater than two but you know people have trained up to thousand number of hidden layers that we have okay